वेलकम माय डियर फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर राजेंद्र देशपांडे वुड लाइक टू वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय आयुर्वेदा एकेडमी यूट्यूब चैनल माय सेल्फ इज प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर आर आर देशपांडे आई एम एम डी इन आयुर्वेदिक मेडिसिन एंड एम डी इन आयुर्वेदिक फिजियोलॉजी दैट इज काय चिकित्सा एंड क्रिया शारीर फॉर पेड ऑनलाइन कंसल्टेशन और पेड ऑनलाइन बी एम एस क्लासेस यू कैन डेफिनेटली व्हाट्सएप मी ऑन नाइन टू टू सिक्स एट वन जीरो सिक्स थ्री जीरो माई डियर फ्रेंड्स टूडेज टॉपिक इज टाइफॉइड टाइफॉइड फीवर आई थिंक दिस टॉपिक इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द मेडिकल स्टूडेंट्स एज वेल एज फॉर द मेडिकल डॉक्टर्स बिकॉज दिस टॉपिक इज पॉप्युलर इन द एग्जामिनेशन एज वेल एज दिस टॉपिक इज वॉट यू कैन से वेरी मच रिक्वायर्ड इन डे टू डे मेडिकल प्रैक्टिस सो टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द कॉमन टाइप ऑफ द फीवर टाइफॉइड इज वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट फीवर that every each and every practitioner must know about the basic thing about the typhoid so let us see about the typhoid this is a lecture regarding the subject kaya chikitsa okay so this is a ayurvedic internal medicine kaya chikitsa lecture this is for the fourth year bams of course this is according to ccm syllabus this is paper 1 part b point number 1 in the big topic of fever there are different types of fevers are mentioned and i have already uploaded the different videos regarding the each type of the fever of course you must understand now from 2022 the whole curriculum of the bms or the program has been changed but you must understand there will be change only at a what you can say the modules and all these things but the basic syllabus basic topics basic framework will remain the same for example now the bms course will be of first second and third bms each year is of one and half year so naturally this kai chikitsa subject will be lifelong useful for each and every students of bms in one way or the other okay so typhoid is also called as enteric fever try to write down this name enteric fever okay this is the infection by salmonella typhi or paratyphi typhoid is a infection by salmonella typhi and paratyphi infection occurs through the food contaminated of course contaminated food then the that food flies carry away this infection then unhygienic our habits uh, uh, non cleaning of our fingers fecal matter filth and vomit so all f you can see 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 f for the typhoid 6f are the causes 6f food flies fingers fecal filth and vomit incubation period for typhoid is 10 to 14 days what does it mean if you get the infection by salmonella typhi on the first day some people will get the symptoms after 10 days some will get after 11 days some will get after even 14 days so the incubation period is of 10 to 14 days this is important why we take the history of the patient suppose the patient comes to you doctor a uh, patient has a fever for last 4 5 days and is not coming down then you may ask him whether you have traveled in the last 15 days and have you eaten up any outside food open food etc and then definitely you will get such type of the history onset is insidious step by step so let us see which steps are there clinical features of typhoid first week there is a gradual rise of temperature this is called as a step ladder fashion don't forget this specific terms step ladder fashion rise of temperature is a specialty of typhoid fever present is a continuous jwar ha bukhar rehta hai throughout the week so at the end of the week temperature may be about 104 degrees fahrenheit in all this whole week the temperature will not touch the normal level this is very important but of course here we have taken into granted that no uh, aggressive doctor has started the antibiotic on the second day if anybody starts the antibiotic on the first second third day then naturally this typical picture will not take place so if the uh, understanding of viral fever if you are uh, treating it symptomatically with giving the paracetamol or the crocine 
or even the mass progression gonorrhea is just antipyretic without any antibiotic then definitely that fever will not come down till the one week pulse will show relative bradycardia this word is very important relative bradycardia normal pulse rate everybody knows 18 to 180 One eight zero seventy to eighty per minute. Now, when you get the fever, for example, my normal temperature is ninety eight, and when I get ninety nine degrees, then my pulse will go from eighty to ninety. Okay, so one degrees Fahrenheit, the pulse rate will increase by ten in number. One degree Fahrenheit. Please write it down. What I am explaining? What is relative bradycardia? This is asked in your examination. so you have to tell that 1 degrees fahrenheit will rise the pulse rate for 10 now the pulse uh, my temperature is 100 what should be the pulse 90 if my temperature is uh, 101 how much should be my pulse rate it should be uh, 1 110 okay 80 90 100 and 110 but in typhoid what happens temperature is very high 103 degrees fahrenheit but the pulse rate is only 90 pulse rate is only 100 so that is called as comparatively low pulse rate with compared to temperature and the term is relative bradycardia this is a typical feature of typhoid fever tongue is coated with red margins and tip okay tongue is coated red margins and tip spleen is palpable spleno megaly at the end of first week and the spleen is soft ha huh? spleno megaly is there rash this is important rash may appear it is not compulsory but may appear at the end of first week this rash typhoid rash found over upper abdomen and back region this rash is 2 to 4 mm in diameter and 6 to 10 numbers in number that rash uh, uh, number of the rashes okay rose red in color fade on pressure and slightly raised so this is this particular rash of typhoid is because of the bacterial emboli rash is because of bacterial emboli in skin capillaries that is why rash is coming now we are talking about second week in the second week typhoid temperature typhoid fever will continue constipation is replaced by loose motions in the second week the patient may get the loose motions which is called as a pea soup diarrhea don't forget this typical words pea soup diarrhea is a specialty of second week typhoid fever abdomen is distended and tender sparsha sahatva patient gets pain when doctor wants to examine the abdomen by palpating palpation patient will get pain spleen is enlarged as like the first uh, week two to three fingers but it is a soft now investigations leukopenia white blood cell what you are, you will ask to the pathologist hemogram esa in hemogram you will get hemoglobin rbc count wbc count platelet count but wbc count total leukocyte count will be reduced normal do you know how much is the normal 4 to 11000 per cubic mm is normal wbc count so that in typhoid count will be near about 4000 per cubic mm or even 3.5000 per cubic mm also there is a neutropenia this is although it is a infection but still there is a leukopenia and neutropenia neutrophils will be also reduced normally they are 75% so it will be around 60 65% most important don't forget typhoid vidal test typhoid vidal test in mcq it is always asked vidal test is positive from second week onward this is very important statement vidal test will never come positive on the third day of the fever fifth day of the fever no if you want to do the vidal titer you must give the sample in the second week only and that to tw there is one condition the doctor aggressive doctor should not start any antibiotic in the first week treat the fever in the first week by simple symptomatic antipyretic medicines like crocin or mahasudarshana dhanavati in ayurveda
general treatment for typhoid general nursing care with special care of mouth eyes and skin diet or the food should be of high calorie and liquids are given for more of type never give purgatives this is important for typhoid never give any purgative medicine specific medicines tablet ciprofloxacin 500 mg morning and evening bd two times in a day for 10 days ciprofloxacin this is a specific antibiotic previously only chloramphenicol was used in typhoid chloramphenicol huh? but now ciprofloxacin or another antibiotic this is all not together sparsin or sparfloxacin sparsin or sparfloxacin 200 mg only once in a day for 7 days so this is a higher generation antibiotic so dose is less and the frequency is also reduced this is two times this is only one time then antipyretic tablet crocin or paracetamol is a brand name crocin is a brand name paracetamol is a generic name to one qid four times in a day morning noon in the evening and at night tablet b complex one bd for 10 days the most important prevention is better than cure type for prevention of the typhoid there is a vaccine injection typhim injection typhim b injection typhim v 1 ml intramuscular and this typhoid vaccine gives the immunity for 3 years now ayurvedic three important prescriptions what you can give this is the first prescription for typhoid fever lakshmi narayan ras two tablets three times in a day plus laghu malini vasant two tablet three times in a day with amruta rishth it is guduchi giloy four teaspoon with equal amount of water two times after meals tiktak ghrit medicated ghee two teaspoon with warm water two times in a day so this is all together first prescription for typhoid fever next or you can give this prescription lakshmi narayan rasa two tablets three times in a day with now there is a plus sign rasa parpati 125 mg plus mruga shringa bhasma 500 mg plus sitopaladi churna 1 g plus pravar bhasma 300 mg this whole bucket of powder you can give three times in a day tds this is the last prescription according to ayurveda about typhoid fever kasturi bhairav ras bajjanath company one tablet two times in a day with honey then for the jirna jwar you can advise jaya mangala ras jaya mangala ras suvarna yukt with gold jaya mangala ras one tablet three times in a day with gulvel sattva and honey then if there is a satat jwarari huh? this is satat jwarari uh, liquid four teaspoon with equal amount of water two times in a day and godanti mishrana two tablet three times in a day so my dear friends this is about the typhoid fever discussion from kai chikitsa lecture for fourth year or now from 2022 it will be third year bms this and syllabus paper 1 part b now this syllabus may change in 2000 from 2022 from this year this syllabus little bit change basic subjects basic topics always always will remain same so this video will be lifelong useful point 1 topic fever sub topic is typhoid but as you know these all the videos are educational videos so disclaimer or vaidhanik ishara kaun si bhi bimari mein yathavashyak yathakal vaidyakiya salah lena bahut hi zarurat hai if you are suffering from cerebral palsy diabetes arthritis cardiac problem motor neuron disease cancer attention deficit hyperactive disorder in the children idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura or any such type of chronic diseases or autoimmune diseases i have ayurveda academy has a team of the doctors and professors so you can definitely whatsapp me on 9226810630 for paid online consultation or paid online bms classes i request all of you to like this video share this video and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and 
don't forget also to press the button icon i wish you all the best for your examination i wish you all the best for your practice and sarve api sukhina santu sarve santu niramayaha sarve bhadrani pashyantu ma kashchit dukham apnuya thank you very much